Hey guys, I got a request from YouTube user Tori Telling, hello, who um, wanted to know what my favorite MAC blushes were. And I thought, okay, why not? Um, I'm going to show you my MAC blush palettes, the palettes that I use for blush. I actually have three blush palettes by MAC. I only have three because I find that that's all that I need. I don't I don't, I don't need any more. The first palette is all pinks and reds. The second one is peaches and orange. And the third one is plums and browns. And what I do is just take a white artist pencil and write on the palette so I know what it is. And then I also do the same thing on the inside. If you can see that, I mark and label where each blush is. I do the same thing with my eyeshadow palettes. And the reason I do this is because um, I don't need to have a whole lot of palettes kicking around and, and this is plenty for what I do but I do buy blush still and so I, I kind of have this thing I do the same thing with clothes when I get a new piece of clothing I take an old piece of clothing out of my closet that way I don't have an overabundance of stuff that I'm never going to wear. I do the same thing with my eyeshadow palettes and with my blush palettes. I will get new eyeshadows and new blushes but if I get like a new green eyeshadow by MAC, then I'm going to go into my palette and I'm going to take one out that I don't use or that maybe I've used enough and I want to try something new. I find that it, it helps me to not overflow with way too much and way more than I need. But um, yeah, so I'm going to shut up and I'll show you my palettes. In the first palette, which is pinks and reds, I have these guys right here. And a lot of these are pro colors. I do like MAC's pro blushes that I have. Apple Red down here at the bottom, Burnt Pepper, Full Fuchsia, which has come out before with limited edition collections, I think like twice in the last year, um, Azalea, which is gorgeous. If you're going to get any pro blush by MAC, pick this one up just because it's, it hurts your eyes to look at. It's so like blue, pink, hot pink. It's a gorgeous color. I use this as an eyeshadow all the time. I know you're not supposed to, but I don't care. Um, well Dressed up here, which is a regular permanent blush, and Dolly Mix here, which is another regular permanent blush. These are both very, very pretty, very pretty pink colors, kind of baby pinks. So that's my pink and red palette. The second palette, which is Peaches and Orange, has My Highland Honey, which was limited edition, and I think it launched with the uh, Christmas collection, the Tartan Tail collection, Hypnos which I think is also limited edition, but I don't remember which collection it came out with. Cantaloupe, which is a pro color. This is a very gorgeous color. Think Melba, but on Red Bull. That's what this is. It's just a really more matte and more pigmented version of Melba. Devil, which is a really cool sort of orangey. It verges on red, but it's definitely an orange-orange color. Um, it's also a pro color. Garb up here and sun bask down here. Now again I have other um, blushes. I have peach twist, I have melba, um, but what I do when I get a new peach or orange blush is replace one that's in here. I like doing that because it also helps keep my eyeshadow palettes and my uh, blush palettes like looking all new. I always end up with nice clean new eyeshadows that I have to use which is a lot of fun. The third palette that I have here is the plums and the browns and in this one I have plum foolery which is another regular permanent um, blush. It's a really pretty one though one I really recommend if you like plum blushes. Raisin down here which is another permanent one. Dirty plum Limited Edition came out with Liberty of London, I think. Um, Fever, which is a regular one, so very pretty, very deep, dark blush. Sweet as Cocoa, and Blunt, I think. Blunt, yeah. This is, I think this is regular. I think Blunt is regular. It might be pro. It might not even be made anymore. I'm not sure. And I do also have, just because I have it out, I'm going to show you. This is my highlight and contour palette where I have Emphasized by MAC. This is Pro Highlighter. It's just a pretty white color. Um, Strata, which is a blush that was discontinued, I want to say maybe six months ago or so. You can still get it in a Pro Pan refill, but not in the actual compact. I've called 
every store that I could think to call. Nobody has it anymore, but uh, lots of pro stores still have this in the pan refill. So if you do like it, if you do want it, I recommend checking it out and picking it up. I use it as a contour, but it is also a really nice color on very pale, pale, pale skin. This, though it looks brown in the pan, it actually kind of warms up to sort of a peachy color on pale skin. It's really, really pretty. I have Honor up here as another um, highlight, just a very goldy kind of sparkly blush. I have, um, and then Sculpt down here, which is one of their sculpting powders. I also have Shadowy, which is another one of their sculpting powders. These are both just used for contours, they're very matte colors. And then Getaway Bronze. These two are both really, really nice highlighters on very deep skin tones. I did, however, pick up, just to share so you know, the two blushes that came out with Mickey Contractor recently, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I think that I might replace Emphasize with this one because I have a lot of other white highlighters and this is just a little bit lighter than white. This is a really pretty color though. I can see where this would work well on, um, that's what it looks like. I can see that it would work well as a blush on very pale skin tones, kind of like Strata, the blush that I was showing you. But um, I really like this as a highlighter. It has a lot more dimension than Emphasize. Emphasize is pretty much just straight up white shimmery. This has um, some undertones in it that are really pretty that make it kind of a unique color. So I, I like this one. I, I would love to see this as a permanent um, product. And then this, this darker one here is um, a little bit of a rosy brown. I don't think that I would put this in my um, highlight contour palette. I think it would probably land in the um, plum and brown palette. I'll probably replace Sweetest Cocoa with it because um, I've used that one quite a bit. And like I said, I like to keep my palettes looking all new with new products. So that's that. I hope this was interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Drive safe.